Hi there, I'm in a log cabin. I'm Canadian and this is what we live in, only log cabins. Quick tip, if you wanna make a film about like an issue that really matters to you, so something like poverty, don't make a film about poverty. Make a film about one person who's impacted by poverty and then you'll make a really great film about poverty. Why I know this is, well, this is what we do with our films. We find a character impacted by an issue and actually this guy right here Mikey I, Del Monte. I have a very good thought. I'm just trying to finish here. <laughs> okay. I'll give him one sec. He's just writing to our students in the Art of Documentary. People post their films and we comment on them. So he's just going through and looking at the latest group of films. One of our students is saying, I just watched a film and it's similar to the style of mine. Should I keep making it? And I said, yeah, Mozart didn't have any secret keys. Van Gogh didn't have any secret colors. You know, it's how, it's, it's your voice. It's how you create it. Mike made a film about a homeless person here in Toronto called, his name is Ray, Derek Sinefrans, who's produced some amazing Hollywood films, has come on to executive produce, and real exciting news, the TIFF light box. November 22nd, we will be having a theatrical premiere, so if you're in Toronto or you wanna come for a screening and meetup, come hang with us. Mike worked on this film for years, and if you don't know TIFF, it's one of the biggest film festivals in the world, and they have a movie theater that premieres amazing films all year long, and Mike's film is gonna be there. So we're gonna be doing a meetup and hang out. We'll put more information. Get on our Instagram if you wanna know about it. Come hang with us and come see the film. Congrats, Mikey. Thank you. In this video, we're gonna give some great tips on filmmaking. Mike has one really, really important one that he discovered while making this latest feature film. His name is Ray. I need to get my an ND filter. This is how our parents' generation does Zoom calls. Hey there, it's good to see you guys. Welcome to the Boomer Vlog. My name is uh, Tony, I'm from Canada. I built this log cabin here. Like and subscribe my channel. Please before 9 p.m. because that's when I go to bed. Okay, see you later there. Anyways, I'm off. Yeah, okay, brother, take it easy. Mike, making feature film, you've made five of them, but this is your latest. No, it's, oh, your, it's your second latest feature because you have Clear Sky. Okay, working on all of these feature films, what's something you've been learning? I have learned that every film needs a question. Every film needs to be trying to answer a question, whether it's explicitly talked about in the film or it's something you've written down as the director on your desk that's anchoring your shooting and your editing, you need to always have something to reference back to. Without a question, your film is just beautiful images. It's kind of like the soul of the film, the way you've explained it to me. My mentor, Derek Cienfrance, calls it the story engine. What is the engine that's going to drive the conflict, the highs and lows, the journey? Because in His Name is Ray, I met this very compelling character, a homeless man. He brought me onto the streets. I'm like, wow, I've never seen this subculture up close. You know, I've never been in the depths of drug use and, and homelessness. But does this character actually want anything? Do they actually have any desires? Are they trying to answer any question? And for him, it was, can I get back on the water? And, and until he asked that question or spoke that out loud, I wasn't sure we had a doc. I'm like, we got a great character. Is this worth making yeah. a doc? But then it's like, huh, that's something that, you know, we could try to answer over the course of six or 12 or 18 months. And this is why the film was actually really compelling too, is there was a bit of backstory. Ray used to be a Coast Guard mm -hmm. worker. And so the idea of watching someone journey against such extreme odds in his own personal life to try to get back on the water mm -hmm. and feel that past yeah. life he had, it became not just a film about someone, but about their journey. Yeah, and I don't want to overuse the metaphors here, but it, it literally anchored the film uh, because whenever I got lost in the edit, like I think this has been one of the most helpful things in features and, I, and I, we watch a lot of students' features and it's like, ah, where are you taking us here? We're, we're going on all these detours, anchor me, anchor me back to that central question. And that always helps me when some type of story development's unfolding and it's like, but how does this affect that question of can I get back on the water? Because it's okay to wander. It's great to wander. I love taking detours, but it's like, I still need to have that central story engine. If not, you know, it's not a story. Exactly. This applies to any kind of film you're making. If it's a short commercial for a client, what's the question that you're asking? Can this product solve the problems in your life? If it's mm. a short film, it still applies. You can't get away from this. This is like trying to live yeah. without air in your lungs. Yeah. The question is what drives your story. It's the engine for all the films. Yeah. It doesn't matter how talented you are, you can't get away from it. Or else we say, if you don't have a question in your film, you're just making demo reels. And again, this question doesn't 
always have to be said on screen. I, I like if you watch, mm -hmm. I'm gonna reference Derek, one of his famous films, Blue Valentine, and it's about uh, a couple that is once in love and then they're slowly falling out of love. And I, I don't know whether Derek did or didn't, but it was clear that he had a question. What is it like to fall out of love when you're deeply in love? And you can tell that that idea, that question, that thought is anchoring the entire film. And so I'd encourage you watch some of your favorite films. Like go watch, you know, Goodfellas and you'll be like, what's the question in Goodfellas? It's like, what's it like to be a gangster? He even, he even says that yeah. in the film, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, well, he says, so, he says uh, as far back as I can remember. I always wanted to be a gangster. There's that idea there that anchored the whole film. The whole film's just about the life of gangsters and trying to see like, what is this like? Well, it's great, you know, you get all these suits and vacations and cash and you also get killed and go to jail. Yeah. You know, you get to see the whole thing. And just having that question all always allows you to wander a bit, but then come back to the center so that the audience is able to go along with you. So for you, whatever film you're working on right now, doesn't matter if it's 30 seconds or 30 minutes, write down the question. Without it, you're making a nameless film. Being out of the water, the sunset on the water is just beautiful. You know, that, that's what I just die for. The sun rises and the, and the sun, the sun falls. It's just, I miss it so much. What's what's on the screen? Tornado kidding? warning. Mark, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know. We probably bring uh, your daughter inside. Gianna. Or we wait here and see what happens. One thing we're gonna do is look at the radars, because that's what Chris Chittick and Ricky Forbes taught me. Look at the radars? Yeah, we'll look at the radars. Well, that doesn't look good. Whoa! Whoa! Well, I feel like ever since I started working on the tornado project, tornado warnings have been following me everywhere. We're in like northern Canada that. right now. Oh, and power. the power is kind of flickering here. It's coming, <laughs> baby, it's coming! You gotta check this out. This is crazy. It's, uh, the camera's not doing it justice. Perfect sunset down this road, right off the lake. This is apparently like the sunset capital of the world. How cool is that? 